me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks, and this is my vlog footage of the Midwest Sneaker Exchange, man. Stay tuned. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, I need you to do a couple things for me, man. Comment down below what's the best sneaker or best thing you've seen in this video. Also comment down below if you are a part of the Midwest Sneaker Exchange Facebook sneaker group. Definitely one of the best sneaker groups out there. Also comment down below if you've ever been to Milwaukee because this event was held at the Serb Hall. It's like on the south side of Milwaukee so that's why I was in Milwaukee doing all that vlogs and stuff like that. Just comment that down below if you've ever been there. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. It takes nothing but a couple of seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. Now enough talking, let's get into this vlog. It's been a minute since I've seen these, the uh, 13 Low Platinum. I wasn't really a fan of this shoe when it came out, but eh, it's not too bad. Just like a worn pair. I don't know how much they want for it, they're not really saying, but it's pretty decent though. I forgot the name of these. I want to say these are the Nike Zoom X uh, Gaio shoes. These recently came out. I like the color scheme on these because this kind of reminds me of my old high school, so I really like the color scheme on this. I don't, I don't know why they threw this like little brown in there though, it kind of threw it off. Also, it's another colorway of it. Pretty decent overall. Size 9, they want 240 for it. Not bad. Got the Air Jordan 1 Coutures. In hand, these not bad. But this leather quality kind of so-so. Like, a couple people have been like showing pairs when they first step on it. It's like a big crease that's like all in this area. And I can see why, like, it's not the best leather. Like, it, like if you wore these one time, it's over with as far as that creasing goes. But as far as like the look of it, it's not bad at all. What's going on, man? It's me and my kids. We got Drupal Kicks TV in the building, man. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How you liking the event? Man, it's decent, man. Um, this is my first event. I ain't never been to no sneaker event, so. You ain't never been to sneaker con? I ain't never been to sneaker con, nothing. What? You tripping, man. You tripping. <laughs> what about to say? So, are you, uh, you buying anything? Uh, Definitely. Right now, I don't think I got a couple pops, but uh, I'm looking. Okay. Maybe double up on the concourse. I don't know yet. See, we me, I'm, see. I'm a broke vlogger, so I'm not really buying nothing <laughs> unless it's like a superstar. Still, but you know, glad you're out here copying everything, man. And once again, you on uh, uh, everybody your so social media info, bro. Oh man, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Drefl KCV. All right, man, check him out. Definitely a great dude. And also, you're from Chicago, right? From Chicago, Southside. From Chicago, oh, Southside, man. Too. <laughs> Support your fellow Chicago right. YouTubers, man. Hello. Getting out.
got the uh, Air Jordan 1 Blue Chill or UNC joints. And he's not bad. I'm not really a big fan of all patent leather shoes because you already know these going to crease up like crazy. But in hand, these not bad at all. These going for crazy prices like like four five hundred. And retail on these is one sixty. Got the uh, Galaxy Rookie Zoom phones. These ones just released. I'm not really a big fan of Zoom Rookie, so I didn't really try for these. But in hand, these not bad at all. Got that Galaxy look to them. Just overall clean, man. Real decent. Also, they got the uh, floral phones. Wasn't a fan of these at all. But a lot of people kind of liked them. I didn't know these had the lace lock. That's pretty decent. And what else they got? Got the Yeezy 700 Salts. I still haven't reviewed mine, man. I'm, I'm tripping. I need to go ahead and review my pair. But these definitely a nice, clean shoe in hand. And they also got the Atmospheric Grays. These not bad. I wish we'd have got the uh, Flint 13s. But hey, overall, not a bad shoe to get. I get these if they went on sale. I want to say it looked like this uh lace maybe could be 3M since it's got that white and gray on it. These those are uh, crazy monarchs that um I want to say yeah Martin had did a collab with is the all pink ones. It's crazy that even though they DS they got all these lumps in the shoe. It's crazy. How can you be a dad shoe with all these lumps? I know these was going for like crazy bread too. And here go the regular version of them. The Martin Rose joints. Got the Travis Scott uh, 33s. Uh, in hand, these not bad. I didn't really go for them because I'm not really a big fan of 33s, but in hand, these not bad. I wouldn't say these one of the worst colorways that came out, but they're pretty decent. You rarely see these at like a sneaker event. These are uh, Deodora. I want to say Click Kip collab, and they made these after the, the Italian flag. It's pretty decent, man. Like the quality on these is crazy. I still haven't reviewed my pair. I got to go ahead and do that one day, man. But eventually it's coming. And this had like, I want to say two or three pairs of laces. Le leather quality was crazy. Uh, suede quality was crazy. All over, man. This man got a whole bunch of shoes that you don't really see at um, outlets. I mean, you know, that you really see at these events. Got the gel light threes. I forgot the name of these ones, but these are definitely decent. He got these. And he messed with only gel light threes. That's what I like. I only mess with gel light threes as well, man. Like, they, they are king. But man, Daddy got this uh, unseen heat over here, man. Got the Arizona State Ultra Boost PE. Uh, did, uh, did you do? Uh, did you do a? Did you swap out the midsole or is it all OG? OG. Okay, dang. I hope, hopefully, man, Adidas like retro this shoe, man. I wish they yeah. would. I bet you, like, if they retro this shoe, it'll probably still sit, man, because they just disrespecting uh, OG uh, Ultra Boost all day, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Classic shoe though, man. Got the Soulfly uh, Jordan ones here, the all patent leather ones. These pretty decent. I'm, I'm really not a fan of all patent leather shoes though, but these go for a lot of money, man. He also got the um, got the one with regular leather. Now this this leather over here look real plush and supreme. I like this one better than the black one. This one really reminds me of the Miami Hurricanes, but. The resale on these is going crazy. You rarely see these. This guy got the uh, little baby shoes, the old like Jordan retros and stuff like that. Got these for 20. And he got these, I want to say these either LeBron ambassadors or LeBron soldiers for 20 bucks. Got the old throwback Jordans with the little uh, mirror thing right here. 25 bucks. Never seen this colorway, man. It's pretty decent. Remind me of like a Newport box. Yeah. Crazy. These are some crazy customs, man. Got the uh, throwback graduation thing going on from the Kanye West joint. Pretty decent, man. I knew when these shoes came out, a lot of people was gonna use them as like a custom for uh, customs, basically. 
or canvas for a custom that's what i meant to say i forgot the name of this uh collaboration but these recently just dropped i like the uh, shade of paint that they use on this and all the uh like scribble they put on there it's pretty decent got the nike air trainer threes they recently about to make a lebron 16 uh mesh with this shoe i put it to the side i'm not really a big fan of those but their original air trainer threes these not bad i don't know how much you want for them they got no price on them but i like this colorway got these custom uh, shattered backboards I got to make it look like the cartoon design. Did you do this? Yeah. How, how, how much do you charge for like a custom like this? 300. 300 for the custom? Yeah. Okay, not bad. How, how long does it take for you to uh, complete this type of custom? About a day. About a day? Yeah. Hey, that's a nice turnaround. That's a nice turnaround at all. Sure. Uh, what about I say? Uh, uh, shout out to uh, IG. Uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, Ask for One. A little bit louder? Follow me on Instagram at Ask for One. Gotcha, man. Mikey did like a little raffle where you can get this uh, 10 buck 2 sample uh, blazer and only a select few was uh, chosen. It looked like this guy got them. Even had the little sample tag and everything. Let you know it's an official sample. The quality on these is crazy. I want to say my guy PM Kicks did a review on that. He uh, he won them. He won these as well. And he got the ten buck too. And what size? Nike hoodie, man. Pretty decent. All right, guys. That is the end of the vlog. And overall, I definitely thought it was a great show. It was a lot of people that turned out to the event. And you know me, I was out there passing out my cars, you know, just doing great networking. I was able to run into Dreadful Kicks TV. He's also a fellow YouTuber. So check him out whenever you get a chance. I'll put his link down below. i also put a link of his uh, channel right here so you can check him out whenever you get a chance. And I really didn't buy many shoes, which I, I don't really buy many shoes at these like sneaker events because like the prices are around the prices of StockX and you know, usually I'm a broke vlogger there. Like I'm always buying like shoes, retail and stuff like that. I don't really have much money for these types of events, but I love just going out there and checking it out anyways. Overall, Flight Chicago, they had a booth there. I don't know if you remember, but like last time I was at a um, sneaker convention, I forgot the name of it off the top of my head. I bought like a whole jogging outfit. It said like resale gang and stuff like that. He um, recently made these uh, shorts and on the front right here it says self-made on the crotch area and so i don't know i'm just getting a lot of like shorts that got like stuff in the crotch area i don't know why i'm just really liking that type of style man but i got those shorts and then he also had these it says uh sneaker broker it's like gray and it got sneaker broker and red and the reason that these say sneaker broker is because there's also a facebook sneaker group called the sneaker broker and he does a lot of like clothing for them and he also makes a lot of msx clothing as well i'll put his link down below if you ever want to check his uh, website out he definitely has great quality materials as you can see like this isn't like no iron dawn stuff it is cut and sew so like this is embroidered in there definitely great quality so check him out whenever you get a chance man but once again if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Also, comment down below what's the best shoe you've seen in this video. If you are in the MSX sneaker group on Facebook. Also, if you've ever been to Milwaukee, man, comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. It takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.